I need a move right now. My landlord tripping. I found a place to stay. I moved my girl with, or going back with my mama or something like that. How do they contact you guys to move they stuff? You can go to uh, www.goatmovers216.com. Gonna pop up as soon as you go on there. You're gonna check us out. Be able to see everything we about. See pictures of us working. Our prices, everything, uh, and our number is right there at the top. Two one six two two four. 78, 15, we do free moving quotes, no matter what the job is, we'll let you know what you'll be looking at, you know, how we do pricing and everything, right on the spot. Social media. Social media. What's the social, so social media, the social media? Yeah, so, we got a little situation going on right now, <laughs> Instagram kind of, you know, they're trying to stop us a little bit, so, uh, but, Haters. hopefully our page will be back soon, but our Instagram is GoatMovers216, uh, and our Facebook, GoatMovers216. Okay, so you pretty much so no matter what the job is, if it's a big job, if it's like somebody moving a three four bedroom house, or if it's a small job, just moving a uh, like a studio, y'all will give them a free estimate, correct? Yes, sir. All right. So, and you know, tell and and how do you, and the thing about it is, do they have to? I know they have to prepackage the stuff and stuff like that, but will you help them with any type of? Do you provide any boxes or anything like that, or does the customer have to provide that stuff on their own? So uh, we do offer mattress covers um, to our clients in all sizes, and um, we protect all the items. Like we bring shrink wrap, you know, uh, foot covers, furniture pads for like dressers and larger items, mm -hmm. TV boxes, all that stuff. So it all depends on like whatever the customer wants. Pretty much, you know, we can definitely get it for you. Okay, so another thing is is like, what's the most fun fact? What's the most fun move that you had so far in your two years in existence? What was the best move that y'all had? The best move. Yes. Had? Yes. Um, I know it's a moving is a tough and tough job because you got to move furniture, you know, fish tanks and all kinds of crazy stuff. But what was the best job that best moving job that y'all had? I would say going out of town. Yeah, that was probably the most fun we had. But um, probably the, one of the best days I think was um, for me. It was when we. Uh, it was a while ago when we first started. We moved um, somebody from a mall. Uh, it was I think it was like Strongsville Mall. Mm -hmm. They had a clothing store, and we helped. Uh, we basically assembled all the furniture and stuff like that, like the shoe shelves and stuff. So I think that was that was cool for me just because. Like, it just felt like we were really, like, stepping up. Like, we were doing, like, something commercial, you know? So, mm -hmm. it just felt like we were really, you know, like, professional. I like that. So, you moved the store. Mm -hmm. Where did they move to? Uh, this lady, uh, it was on, it's on Cedar. Mm -hmm. I think it's a clothing boutique. The lady's name is uh, Candy. Um, I want to say her brand is called Mirror Store. It's, like, Candy's Closet. Mm -hmm. So, uh, definitely check her out, too. She got some nice pieces for the ladies. Okay. Okay, so she moved, she was in Strongsville, and then she moved all the way to Cedar, so you helped her with that. So, what's the tough, okay, what's the toughest part about moving people? Uh, it, it can always depends. So, like, it's times where if a customer ain't got their stuff ready, it can, be, it can make the move tough. Um, if, if they got a lot of stuff, it can make the move tough. Let's say, uh... If it's uh, assemblies that we got to do, like big bed sets, uh, mm -hmm. dressers with big, huge mirrors, like mm -hmm. it just always depends. The appliances, right? Uh, we messing with gas lines, water lines, like that's the type of stuff that'll make it tough. But I think for me, uh -huh. the what the like, so it's two things. First thing is people not telling the truth. Uh. They don't tell you their items that they really have. They tell you they got five boxes. But they got 25 boxes. <laughs> right. And they in the two family, and they said they was on the first floor, but they not. And or so that's the first thing. Just honestly, that's the right. part I hate about moving. Uh, even though I love it. <laughs> and the second thing, probably for me, the worst part about it would be like cleanliness. So like being in a basement with a bunch of cobwebs and stuff mm. like that. I hate that kind of stuff. I I think the thing about it is like it depends. Pretty much it depends on the customer. Sometimes you know. You know that you're moving. You got to clean up your place before or move in during that particular time so it doesn't make it very hard. Right. You got to be easy because these young men, are, as far as any moving company, these young men are working hard. So the 
best, the thing about it is, is like you said, the best thing was going out of town. So I another, got another fun fact that was put in my ear before I got here, especially about you, Mr. Brown. You also do music, correct? Yeah, I make music. Okay, so I, what's the, what, you have YouTube videos out stuff yeah, like that yeah so i got music on youtube i got uh, music out on all platforms spotify apple music uh whatever you can think of honestly i got music out everywhere okay and what's your hip-hop name uh it's dj be the rock dj be the rock yeah where did you come up with that name from? um so dj b mm -hmm. d'angelis brown uh-huh and then the rock uh it's just something me and my brothers always told each other like you want rock type of thing we always going to be solid. So DJ be the rock. Okay. So I think that I'm going to ask this question. <laughs> and hopefully Alex don't get mad at me when I ask it. How many brothers and sisters you have? Uh, I got five brothers. <laughs> and, I, and then I got two sisters. Okay. Um, and they all support you. Yeah. Okay. Alex. I don't know how many brothers. <laughs> I, know, I know I got one sister. She just joined my live too. Uh, uh, Paris. All right. Um, uh, I got a lot of brothers though. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out Logan, Lael, Brennan, Colin, Keandre, Ken. Uh, one of my brothers passed a couple years ago. Oh, wow, Cameron, so rest in peace to my big brother. Uh, it's a lot of us though. Mm, I, you know, we still finding them. Uh, <laughs> my, uh, on your, on your, I know on your dad, on your daddy side. Oh yeah, and little Aiden too. All right, Aiden you go, you, you. I can't forget. You can't Aiden. forget Aiden. Yeah, he might, he, my best friend. He might kick you somewhere. You don't. <laughs> can't forget little Aiden. Right, exactly. So, and then how many of your brothers work for or work with you? I'm just about to say uh, four. Um, my little brother Colin, I think we're gonna uh, try him out soon. He's been telling me he wanna work. He uh, just turned fourteen. Mm -hmm. and, uh, my uh, other younger bro uh, brother Brandon, he just started with his two. I wanna say like a week or two ago. Um, he's uh, twenty, mm -hmm. twenty one. Mm -hmm. And then I got my little brother Orion. Right. He comes to help out every once in a while. Okay, so you don't mind them like if they wanna just now I wanna help make some extra money. You don't mind them coming in and helping, do you? We mind if they don't want to work. Right, right, we ain't right. passing out money. Oh, okay. Yeah. If okay. they want to work for some money, we definitely don't mind. Okay. So, and Alex, you got the graphic thing going on, so mm -hmm. you want to bring out your contact information. Since I asked, mm -hmm. you know, DJ B to rock about his music thing, mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to ask you about your graphic thing. Yeah, we on, um, I'm on uh, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, even Fiverr for gigs and stuff like that for websites, uh, business cards, flyers. Um, booking sites, mm -hmm. um, t-shirt, uh, print, uh, anything graphic or web uh, designer related, pretty much do it. But um, Ajax Graphics on everything, so A-J-A-C-K mm -hmm. Graphics. Mm -hmm. So what made you start, so did you start the graphic company before the movement company or you started them at the same time? No, I started the, the graphic and web designer company before. Um, I was doing a lot of business with my girlfriend. She actually... She uh really she really made me like have the uh, confidence or just like the little push to start my own business just because like it's a lot of stuff I knew how to do but I guess I just didn't want to take stuff serious so I was mm -hmm. just making a lot of flyers and stuff for her like just logos and stuff and uh, I was like you know I like do it for friends and stuff like that on the side for just some extra money and then I she told me I should take it serious and I just did. Okay, so the thing about it is like you took that serious. And then you still, you know, and you pretty much taking a, a moving company serious. So, you know, and a lot of people need graphics. Do you have time to do the graphics knowing that, you know, you about to raise a family? So, honestly. Or you have other people do it? Um, no, I want to I wanna have like an office for it um, and then have like a team of people doing graphics and like websites and stuff. But honestly, I've been just using like, what I do basically for my businesses though, just to like, cause we got basically an in-house content creator. So, mm -hmm. you know, I just make sure I'm, I'm pretty much focused on my own stuff, honestly. Okay, so you just focus on your own stuff. So, if somebody asks you, is like, what would you charge for business cards? Um, it depends on how many you get. Off the top of my head, I don't know my price for business cards, but websites, they start at 250 though, and then uh, that'll be for five pages. So, um, and then, um, for flyers, I charge fifty bucks a 
flyer, and that's pretty much uh, customizable up in like whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Um, t-shirt charge like uh, ten if you bring your own shirt. A shirt, uh, fifteen if I supply it. Uh, man, I do so much stuff. Um, booking <laughs> right. sites, I want to say they're like one fifty. Um, you say booking sites? What a what is that? So um, I used to use Square a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, so Square is a platform, uh, just like Acorn or um or Acuity, mm-hmm. uh, that basically you can have, uh, it's like it's a link that uh, um when you click it it'll go to, like the list of services you offer if you do hair or you know nails, lashes, right. something like that, or have a moving company, mm-hmm. and people will be able to pay deposits and book. You know, it's uh, similar to a website, but it's a little bit simpler, and it wouldn't be like pictures and stuff. Right. So the graphic thing, where did you learn how to do the graphic stuff? Is it was it at school? Was it on your own or was it uh, both? University of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> University of YouTube. So pretty much you went on YouTube and said, you know what, it sounds interesting, I'm gonna start doing this and then you just kept at it, right? And then just a bunch of bad content and a bunch of mistakes and stuff and then I learned uh, yeah. uh Photoshop too is like a cool tool I use. It's it's cool. Um Canva is a great platform. Like it's uh, it's actually not hard to get into graphic design if you put a little effort into it. I think it's a hustle that like a lot of people would be surprised. Like because the stuff that we do on Instagram or people do on TikTok and stuff, you you almost a mm-hmm. like an editor, honestly. So okay. So the thing about it is that you have been doing this for a while. What is so? How how do how do you think the future looks for Goat Movers? How bright of the Okay, and the last one of the last questions I have: Are you intending on moving forever? Or are you trying to hire somebody to take your place, and then you just go into management? A lot of times, honestly, we have our guys in the field now that we kind of um, like, we, uh, like you know, it's a blessing for sure. We have pretty successful like starting our business. Like I want to say, one of the numbers we hit was like maybe a month or two ago. We had like, and and. In 60 days, we had over 100 moves. Mm. So, yeah, like, uh, I want to say last week or the week before last on my calendar, we had 17 moves. So, a lot of times we have our guys in the field just so we can make sure they're, you know, like, you know, basically they can stand on their own without us Mm -hmm. so that we can have the ability to be even able to expand. Mm -hmm. So, and that takes a lot of trust, correct? Definitely. All right. And what about, so what kind of trucks do you use? Do you have your own or you do have, you rent them or what do you do? We rent right now uh, just because it's cheaper and uh, just to make sure that we're insured. And trucks is just, it's a it's a money game for sure because it's a lot of moving parts when you start having trucks and then just storage and stuff like that and being responsible for anything going, like, breaking down. So right now we, uh, we rent trucks, but we uh, hope to have our own soon. Okay, so with the logo and stuff on it? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So you just, you, so what about teaming up with a, what about African-American businesses teaming up with an African-American trucking company so that y'all can partner up with one of them? What about that? Or you don't see that in your future yet? Um, so we definitely, um, actually we're working on it for sure. We haven't like announced anything, but uh, yeah, we definitely working with some, uh, some companies, not local, but mm-hmm. there's some mainstream companies, um, just having some contracts with them, and that'll give us access to some uh, trucks, yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. it'll, it'll be a great situation. And then that'll be a way for our guys to have like consistent work too, like forty hours a week, and they'll be you know get their taxes and like mm-hmm. they can be independent contractors just under Goat Movers. Right. So how how important? And I want to be very serious, and both of you answer this. How important is having your own business? especially at a young age like you are in now? Because you're not not even 25 yet. Right. How important is that? How how important does that make... Does that How important is that to have your own at a very young age? Uh, I would say it's very important. Just off the strength that, like, <clears throat> you're going to be a step ahead. I wouldn't, like, necessarily say it's going to put you a step ahead, but... Cause you get what I'm saying, you'll be a step ahead. Um. Okay. And the thing about it is, like, what about you, Alex? The same thing, or? Yeah, I think it's important because, I mean, I don't really see anybody that likes waking up every day and not being in control of what they do. That's my main reason that I have uh, a business mindset.
that because I just feel like having the freedom to be able to, like, if I got a daughter coming, so, like, if my daughter gets sick at school, I could leave. I don't have, like, nobody would be like, you don't got no sick time. You know that, right? And right. And be my family in trouble because I got to take care of my family. So I feel like it, it puts you out of those kind of situations when you have your own business, and that's positive. Mm-hmm. So, Very important today, and the thing about it is like, and of course, you said you would hire felons, you know, as far as you know, their morals and stuff are right, which is important because you know, people are being released at this particular point in time. And you know, how important is stations like this to tell your story? Big social media is everything for sure, right? We gotta go, guys. God, thank you for coming in. I know you guys are busy. Congratulations on your families. Thank you, family. Uh, and everything else like that. If nobody tells you that they love you today, I do. And y'all are already home. That's why I'm playing this song by Jay-Z with um, Kid Cudi, already home. Peace, love, and hair grease. We out of here. We'll see you next week. Early vote. Enjoy. Appreciate y'all. Um, Oh, quick.